Ever wonder how to select the proper size container for your cannabis plants? Well, this Tobacco University is going to help you with that very topic. All right, let's get into the video so you can select the right container size for your cannabis plants. So first off, there are factors that can depend on this. There's not one quick, really easy answer. Hopefully I'll kind of go through and just give you some of the basic rundowns here so you can make an educated decision. First off, you want to consider what strain you're going to grow in the sense that how big do you plan on that plant getting? Also, the substrate you select. What's the water holding capacity of that substrate? Pruning method, keep the plants small or are you letting them grow quite large? That can affect the size of the container that's going to be a best fit. Also, your growing environment, meaning how large of an area do you have to grow in? This can be both in square footage, but also want to be thinking about height as well and how that impacts the container. We can see here a bunch of plants growing together, very variable sizes of containers, probably not maximizing the production here. We also want to consider factors such as the cost, the container, and or the amount of substrate you might be using. Smaller containers can save costs, but will increase plant stress. Duration of the growth cycle. How old will your plants be at harvest? Are you looking for a quick turnaround time? It's going to be something that's going to be a little bit longer. Or grower preference. Simply, what do you like? Uh, what kind of size do you prefer? What kind of um, substrate are you buying? How is this all going to kind of factor into things? So providing some general suggestions, and again, I underline the word here, general, uh, because it is just that. I wanted to provide with just some example here, some suggestions. Plant size and suggested container size, and they send, use this as just a general guide or at least a starting point. For your kind of 12 inches, you're looking at about that two to three gallon container. For 24 inches, you can up to a three to five gallon container. For 36 inches or three foot tall, you're looking at six to eight gallons. Four feet tall, eight to 10 gallons, and 60 inches or above a 12 gallon container would be recommended. Again, this could depend on your pruning style, could be like your substrate, your growing area, but at least if you are looking for an area to start, this is where I would suggest you at least uh, start to see how well this may work for you. I also have things provided here in the metric system, uh, so you can get, again, a desert idea of height in centimeters compared to the size of the container expressed in liters. And just as a natural progression, you're looking at the larger plants typically being grown in larger containers. Now, it does not mean that as a plant goes from 12 inches to 24 to 36 to 48 to 60, you're constantly changing the containers. You might want to skip one, uh, start with a little bit larger size, maybe not let the plants get quite as big. So again, this does not mean you're going to be transplanting uh, this plant from maybe its propagation to a 12 inch, when it's 12 inch, and every foot increment from there. So just keep that in mind. Now for commercial production setups, as we see here, uh, typically these will use about a five to seven gallon max size container for their plants and will reserve larger sizes only for mother or stock plants. If you want a kind of a comparison for production, typically five to seven gallon sizes is kind of the max that they're using for their production plants in general. Um, so again, use that as just a general guide and hopefully this provides you with a good starting point to help maximize your production by selecting the right container to grow your cannabis plants in. Mm -hmm. 